What is intelligent manual transmission? How does it work? Should we consider it against AMT? Is it any better? How does it perform in different scenarios? What are the things to consider? Let's untangle answers to all these questions in this video. First, let's see the difference between AMT and IMT. AMT has sequential gearbox with an electric motor to shift gears. The gear lever you see is just like a joystick to give input to the transmission to shift gears and clutch is automatically operated by computer. In IMT, there is conventional H-type gearbox where the lever is directly connected to the transmission. The driver operates it. Unlike AMT, the driver has absolute control over the shifting of gears. The clutch operation is completely controlled by computer similar to AMT. The throttle is controlled by the accelerator pedal as well as the computer, while the computer can override driver's accelerator inputs while shifting. So in case while shifting gears, if the computer wants to change the throttle position, like increase or decrease the throttle to match the revs of engine, then no matter how hard you press on the accelerator pedal, it's not going to listen to you. Some high-tech IMTs also have control of brakes in order to smoothen the driving experience while being very connected and responsive. With IMT, quick shifts are possible as you can skip gears. Also as there is no need for motor to operate the gearbox as AMT, so IMTs are a bit cheaper. So how does IMT work and what if the driver skips too many gears? Like he shifts from 5th gear to 2nd directly, how will the car cope up with it? Let's find out. To understand the system completely, here are the few things you should know about IMT. You have complete control over the gearbox shifts and computer has no control over it. The computer has complete control over the clutch operation and you don't have any. The computer has complete control over throttle while shifting gears and it will override your inputs while shifting. In high-tech IMTs, computers can also operate brake. It won't apply hard brake, but it can gradually reduce the speed. You can override its gradual braking with hard braking whenever you want. However, you can't stop it from applying gradual brakes if it's trying to match the revs of the transmission shaft and the engine. The last and most important thing you should know is, the sole aim of computer is to give you smooth ride. So even if it has control over brakes, throttle, clutch, it won't ever give you a jerky drive. Rather, its name Intelligent Manual Transmission itself signifies that driver can do dumb mistakes while operating clutch, throttle, gearbox and brakes all together. So IMT with its intelligence will override the controls and cope up with driver's dumbness to offer smooth drive. Let's see how IMTs function in different scenarios. The gear lever is directly connected to gearbox as regular manual transmission. It has additional sensors to sense when you are disengaging from one gear and engaging in other. So to shift, when the driver pushes the lever off the gear, the computer will sense the disengagement of the gear and automatically disengage the clutch. Then it waits for the driver to shift to other gear. As soon as he does so, the computer takes the control of the throttle and matches the revs of the engine according to the shifting done. Once the rev match, it engages back the clutch, ensuring smooth drive. Even if you skip too many gears, like you shift from 5th to 2nd gear directly, the IMT can manage it. To cope up in such situation, it will first disengage the clutch, check the gear in which you have shifted, then rev the engine high. Once it matches the rev, the clutch is engaged back while ensuring a smooth drive. As I told you about the advanced IMT systems which has control of brakes, that do rev matching even better. So if I shift from 6th gear to 1st gear directly, where the engine can't rev so high to match the revs, the computer raises the throttle as much as it can and rev up the engine to the possible limit. Plus it applies brakes gradually to slow down the shafts in the gearbox and then engages back the clutch while shifting, if you mess up with the throttle, like while upshifting you are trying to accelerate the engine, the computer won't listen to you. It will rev down the engine, first match the revs, then engage the clutch and then will consider your input and will raise the RPM of the engine according to the accelerator paddle position you have pressed. 
So now you know that IMD is quite wise technology. So is IMD better than AMD? The answer is yes, by technology perspective, as you can do quick shift, skip gears, and still it will give you a rapid response over AMDs with a smooth drive. Plus it can be a cheaper option than AMD due to less number of parts. But let me clarify one thing. The drive experience depends upon the implementation of the technology while considering the hardware and software part of it. Like the engine rev range in which shifts can be performed. Wider range is better. How tall the gear ratios are also matter. Taller gear ratios allow for better fuel efficiency but it increases the shift delays. Then how fine the algorithm is tuned also matters a lot. Toyota has IMT in many of its cars and it works superbly good. Hyundai and Kia also have these options in its newer cars. So this is really a great technology to go forward with proper implementation. I would be really happy to see this technology in many cars in future. If you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and hit the notification bell to get notified for future updates. As of for now I'm signing off, see you guys in the next one.